Well, I'm here in the Liberty Maelstrom in here in Brussels. I have to tell you this is, and I'm assuming this is B for also um, American audiences, but uh, let me just say that this is a lovely town, but in a way this place that I'm at is has the most extraordinary uh, ambience in the town, as far as I've seen it. This is a bookstore that is centered on poetry, but not poetry that's been published by big mainstream presses, but the poetry of the small presses. This kind of store like this doesn't exist in, certainly not in the United States. I've never seen a store in the United States that is devoted only to poetry. And even the poetry room in City Lights Books upstairs, which is a beautiful room, and even there, they're, they mainly the books are published by, there's a section downstairs for small presses, but mainly they're established presses, New York houses, etc. <coughs> This bookstore, it's for me personally, it's like I'm walking into my own home because uh, I've published more than a hundred books and virtually all of them have been published on the street, as I like to say, with small presses. And, and here is a bookstore devoted to the, a lot of different publishers here. These are small press publishers throughout France, Belgium. I take it maybe there's another, maybe it might be one from, from the Netherlands too, but uh, they're here. And this is the real poetry of France and Belgium is in this, in this bookstore. And, and also I'm very pleased be, to being here because David Giannoni uh, has published uh, Gilles Vachon's translation into French of my book, uh, in English, it was the Viet Arcane, and in French, it's uh, La Cannes du Vietnam, a book I wrote in 1970, 71. About, uh, it's based on a voodoo sect, poems on a voodoo sect in Vietnam, connected to the Dao Mao religion, meaning the adoration of the mother. And uh, its ritual is called Len Dong. It is still practiced and widely in Vietnam now, though during the war it was, it was suppressed because of the suspicion vis-a-vis -vis religion, etc., and everyone wanted to get the uh, Viet Cong. It might have been okay in the south, but in northern Vietnam it was not during the war. But after the war, it's, it's certainly it's part of the folk tradition of uh, Vietnam. And this beautiful book that, that uh, was translated by Gilles Vachon and which is published here. It's one of the reasons that I am here for La Belle Vie, the uh, very almost uh, very Kabbalistically evocative title of the uh, of this uh, weekend festival. But uh, but here uh, the ambience I speak of is also really young volunteers who love, uh, no doubt. Uh, they're not here for no good reason. They love poetry and uh, they work here and they treat all the guests from other countries because I'm here with, uh, with an old friend, Mark, Mark uh, Smith, who was, uh, who was the founder of the SLAM movement. Uh, yes, he's, he's the guy that did this. He, came up with the name. He even told me the secret yesterday of how the name, what the name comes from, which is related to baseball, American baseball. Wait till I get back and I tell someone who's an enormous Chicago Cubs baseball fan that it's partly about a grand slam, which in baseball is a, a biggest home run you can hit. It's a home run with three men on base, so you get four runs by one hit, and that's called the Grand Slam, and that's where he got the name from. That's wonderful. Anyway, <laughs> and also Amir, uh, um, Amir is also here from uh, from Israel. And I met in um, Amir Azin. I met Amir Azin uh, Medellin some years ago, 
uh, and nice to see him here again. Uh, and there are also others that I, I known from the past. Uh, I've been part of this festival and uh, and so it's really quite wonderful. But again, I come back to what this store really is. It's uh, it's we have a, a, a cafe Trieste in San Francisco. It's a cafe. You come and buy coffee, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's not a bookstore, but uh, there's an ambience somewhat like this. But here, these are the proximity to books and to and to what we call chapbooks. So what is, I understand is called the Le Livre uh, Indépendant. That's that's really something special.